guys, welcome back to Spoto Channel. I'm Christine, and join me today. I'm the host of Spoto Tech Talk. Recently, we have launched Spoto Tech Talk to share about the latest、uh, news on network news, network certification trends, network search exam tips, and network career. I really appreciate if you can subscribe our channel or give me a thumbs up to the video, which allow my videos reach out more people just like you. Okay, so in today's、uh, video, I'm going to talk about what are CCIE certification available track and exam tips. Pursuing a career in networking and computing often requires individuals to obtain licensing or certification when seeking a position. For example, a Cisco certified internet work expert CCIE certification may help networking professional improve their ability and learn more about their film. With certification, require passing a series of exam and choosing a specialization track. In this video, I'd like to talk. About what CCIE certification? Explore the tracks you may choose from, and give you some tips to help you pass the、uh, certification exam. So let's start with what are CCIE certification? Okay, so CCIE certification are credentials you can earn by passing separate writing and lab exam on internet working using Cisco based. Uh, plan phones. The writing exam, including 19 to 110 multiple choice and simulation questions. The lab exam lasts a full day and includes troubleshooting, diagnostics, and config configuration portions conducted by CCI certified certified professional. The number of questions of writing test the lab format may vary、uh, based on the specialized. Track. There are no prerequisites to take any of exam. Though Cisco recommends you have five to seven years of experience of internet working. CCIE certification tracks.、Uh, CCIE certification tracks focus on different internet working topics、uh, within Cisco frameworks and include number one is. Enterprise infrastructure. This tracks certified professional who works with complex network infrastructure. It tests their planning, operating, and troubleshooting skills, collaboration, individual,、uh, employed as、uh, collaboration architect, or voice and video network managers may seek this certification. It tests their skills in deciding, deploying, operating. And optimizing and、uh, collaboration solutions.、Uh, next one is data center. If you work in a data center, you may find this certification useful. It measures your competency in the planning and execution of data center infrastructure in. Uh, our related topics. Next one is security. This certification verifies your ability to understand, address, and provide various modern security risks and vulnerabilities while applying industry-based practice. Service provider expert. Level network engineers working with internet service providers may may seek this certification to explain their service、uh, capabilities. Next one is enterprise wireless. This certification shows you、uh, demonstrate a broad range of、uh, knowledge regarding both wireless networking and wireless local area networking technologies. CCDE. This track focus on expert level network design engineers and architect. It certifies that you can translate a business needs into a scalable and sustainable、uh, architecture by integrating various networking elements. You may earn one or more this certification depending on your position and training. Having more than one CCIE certification could help you move up in your career or qualify you for a wider range of jobs. Each test focuses on different kinds of knowledge. At the moment, there is no single test that covers 
everyone. So when you ready to take the CCIE exam, you would like to know tips for passing your CCIE exam. Spoto has successfully helped over 2,200 candidates prepare and clear the CCIE exam. Okay, so Spoto has helped 2,200 learners get a layer since IE exam that's really amazing so if you would like to know more about our training and solution you can reach us uh, via whatsapp if you can check our link out uh, on our describe section also you can download our work workbook demo to take a look okay so when you're getting ready to take a CSI exam Learning different tips and tricks may help you pass. For CCIE certification, some of the most common test taking tips you can use are okay, number one, get experience on the job. Your certification test might cover a lot of things that you can do every day. Focusing on getting better things uh, could make it easier for you to answer questions correctly and do well in your labs. Before your test, you might want to spend more time on areas that need to work and ask your uh, co-workers for help. Number two, learn about new IT concepts. Okay, so if you want to understand Cisco products line and how it works, you might find it useful to read about their new te uh, technological developments. Reading IT magazines in print or online to also help you find bigger IT trends and understand them better. So you might be uh, able to use some of this information in your job. Number three, pace yourself. If you study at a steady uh, pace a long time before your test, it might help you remember what you need to know. So think about starting every day for a few hours in the weeks or months before your test. If you study in this way, these topics may uh, seem more familiar to when it's time for your test. Number four, understand the language. So like many other tech films, internet working has its own set of technical terms. You may need to know these terms in order to do well on your test. Talk to someone you know who passed the test and ask how specialized terms are used on the test. So you could also learn these terms with the help of CCIE uh, dictionary or study guide. Number five, emphasize troubleshooting. Troubleshooting is an important part of most internet working to topics, right? Focusing on the getting a better at solving problems could help you do a better on your exam. For example, you could do more troubleshooting at your current job to learn more about how to find a, uh, and fix problems with wireless networks, security systems, and cables. Number six, use multiple study guides. CCIE study guides provide details information that may help you prepare for exam. Uh, guides many contain information that differs slightly from book to book, so consider using two or more CCIE study guides to improve your chance of learning more information. You can do research to find out which of these books fits your choose path, which will help you study more effectively. So also you can choose both CCIE study guides which contains number seven, take a practice test and practice on real lab infrastructure. It may help you to find and take a practice CCIE writing test online before scheduling your official exam. This practice test use real questions from past exam to simulate the test experience. For a small fee, you can take this practice test and receive an estimate of your likely exam score. 
Also, you can get the real exam question from Spoto. 100% cover the current exam question. You can use this information to improve your potential exam score by focusing your studying on areas where you didn't perform as well on the practice test. Also, practice will make you fully prepared for the CCIE exam. The CCIE lab exam has 8 hours that will test your actual skill level. This is why practical training must be carried out on the real rack. Avoid actual use of simulators, which is why a laboratory infrastructure is a crucial factor that choosing a Cisco CCIE training organization. Number eight, learn how to type better. Think about getting faster at typing before your test, even though the test doesn't check out how fast you type. So being able to type more quickly and uh, accurately may make the test easier and save your time. For example, if you know how to type better, you may be able to enter data from your lab exam faster and more uh, accurately typing programs that can use online can help you get better at these skills. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for uh, your time in watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and share my video to your friends. If you need my help, you can reach me on the WhatsApp. There will link on the subscribe section. See you next time. Bye.